A tennis ball was two feet off the ground when a tennis player hit it so that the ball traveled up in the air before coming back to the ground. The height of the tennis ball is described by the graph shown. Numbers along the x-axis represent the time in seconds after the ball was hit, and the numbers along the y-axis represent the height in feet of the ball at a time of x. Use the graph to represent the average rate of change of the height of the ball for the first 0.25 seconds after being hit. So we're going to find the slope, that is the rate of change, between 0 seconds and 0.25 seconds. So there are two points we're going to use. The point 0, 02, just before the ball was hit, the height of the ball was 2, and the point 0.255 at 0.25 seconds, the height of the ball was 5. To find the slope, you can use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where that first point would be x1, y1, second point would be x2, y2, or just think of finding the change in y over the change in x, or rise over run. So if you use the slope formula, change in y would be 5 minus 2, the change in x would be 0.25 minus 0, and then work through that, simplify that, 5 minus 2 on top, that is 3, so the change in y is 3, and the change in x, 0.25 minus 0, is 0.25. Divide that, 3 divided by 0.25, that is a rate of change, or a slope, of 12. So the rate of change, the average rate of change, of the height of the ball for the first 0.25 seconds, is 12 feet per second. Let us see.